yesterday morning. Uh, for those of you who are not here, my name is Stephanie Stark. I'm the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships with Cause Inspired Media. I've been in the nonprofit sector for 20 years now. I've worn many hats. And um, I'll tell you, I started back in the mid-90s in an arts council. And our conversation then was, do we need a website? Probably can't imagine now not having a website, but that we honestly had a little debate. The board had to decide if we were going to pay for a website. And uh, fast forward to the mid-2000s, I was working in transitional housing with homeless women and children. And our conversation with the executive team and the board of directors was, should we be on social media? Do we need a Facebook page? Do we need a MySpace? That's not even around anymore, but it was then, okay? <laughs> I'm dating myself again, so okay, there's no shame. So now, um, here I find myself working with Cause Inspired Media, helping nonprofits to get onto Google. I know you know Google, you're on it, you're, it's on your phone. 70% of all searches for information happen on Google. And if you don't have the Google Ad Grant, I'm gonna tell you why you need to be there. Okay, um, show of hands, how many of you are already receiving the Google Grant? Good, okay, fair number of you. It's $10,000 per month in free advertising on the world's largest search engine. Uh, another show of hands, how many of you had the grant and now it's suspended? Okay, yes. <laughs> really common. Um, Google changes its algorithm frequently and it's difficult to maintain. Uh, last show of hands and then I'll move on. How many of you have the grant, $10,000 per month, and you're absolutely killing it? I mean, you're maxing it out, you're flooded with donors and volunteers and newsletter signups and you can't do any more with it than what you're doing now. Well, <laughs> from our client. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Yes. Okay, um, you're in good company if you're struggling with your Google Ad Grant. Here are some of our more well-known nonprofit clients, including GuideStar and the Tim Tebow Foundation. Uh, they wanted to tap into that $120,000 in free advertising on Google, but we're not able to do it. So we manage the grant for these nonprofits and uh, 500 nonprofits nationwide. So. You're in good company if you're struggling. We are considered the Google Ad Grant experts. We have a special partnership with Google's Ad Grant team. And this is my colleague, Sean Kerr, our COO. He recently co-hosted a webinar with Gabe Cohen, the Senior Marketing Director of GuideStar, and Michelle Hurtada, who heads up the Ad Grants team. And uh, if you want to look that up more than just clicks webinar, it's a one hour webinar about uh, how to manage your Google Ad Grant. For those of you who are sitting there going, what the heck is a Google Ad Grant? Uh, other than the $10,000 per month uh, advertising, it's an in-kind donation. So no one's receiving a check. Google's giving you space on their ad network, just as if your local newspaper were to give you space on the front page. You still have to create ads that run in that space. Your ads appear based on a person's geographic location and their search terms. That way you drive relevant traffic to your website so that you're increasing the brand awareness about the work and the mission and the impact of your organization and helping you to recruit volunteers and new donors and corporate sponsors. Uh, there's a great way to leverage the grant for corporate sponsors. If you've ever put on a fundraising event, I'm sure you have sponsors. One ad value that you can offer to your sponsors is to say, listen, we're looking for a title sponsor. If you're willing to donate $25,000 to underwrite the event, we would be willing to thank you for your gift in the traditional ways on our website and on our collateral material. But we're also a recipient of the Google Ad Grant. We have $10,000 every month in advertising on Google. You don't have to explain to a for-profit Google advertising because they're already paying thousands of dollars every month to advertise there. And you can do some co-marketing ads that uh, showcase your corporate partner and how they're giving back to support your charity. Uh, so there's some challenges with the grant. Google um, changes its algorithm frequently every few weeks. And if you're not staying on top of that, then you can end up with a grant suspension. Um, most nonprofits find they just don't have the internal bandwidth in terms of time and support staff and expertise in the Google Ads platform. As Jimmy was explaining to you, he was paying for ads because he 
couldn't manage the grant. And so that's what our service is. We make the grant application for you at no cost. We have a 100% success rate in having the grant awarded to the nonprofits we apply for. Uh, as a side note, there are two categories of nonprofit who are not eligible to receive the grant. Educational institutions, everything from an elementary school to a university, and medical institutions, everything from a walk-in clinic to a, a hospital. Um, most nonprofits who come to us when we talk to them say, look, we just don't have the time to invest in this. If we have the grant, we're only getting maybe two or $300 per month on the spend when there's 10000 available, but they just can't tap into it. And the way the money is spent is every time someone clicks on an ad to go to your website, Google deducts up to $2 from your $10,000 limit. So potentially you have more than 5,000 visitors coming to your site every month through the ads. That's in addition to your organic traffic. So for $120,000 a year, uh, Google um, on Google, Cause Inspired Media can manage the grant for you so you can tap into the full potential of the $10,000 per month. Um, we have three different packages we offer for grant management, um, and the highest being just under $550 per month. So for less than $550 a month, you can have $120,000 annually in advertising. For those of you who are sitting there going, not another thing to pay for marketing. Uh, I just want to encourage you to, as we're talking about reimagining philanthropy, uh, that you tap into this partnership with Google, whether you use our service or you do it on your own, because I promise you that your donors are on Google. <laughs> And um, I remember running around putting up paper flyers for my fundraising events for the nonprofit I worked for all over town, finding the places who would allow me to put it in the window or put it in the coffee shop. And there was a line of people at the coffee shop staring at their phone looking at Google, <laughs> not, at my, not at my flyer. So I encourage you to uh, consider this for your marketing, for your nonprofit, if you're not already doing this, because you run a business. Maybe a nonprofit business, but you do run a business. I, I want to leave you a couple of tips because for those of you who want to manage the grant on your own, um, I, I want to make sure you have a takeaway today because you know you can hire a, a company like ours or you can do it on your own. Just make sure that you have a Google for Nonprofits account and a TechSoup account. Uh, that's there if you are not yet receiving the grant. Those are in place for your own fraud protection uh, by Google, and they'll take you about five minutes to set up each one of those accounts. Um, make sure your website is up to date and secure. Uh, if you don't know what I mean by secure, there's something called an SSL certificate. It says HTTPS on your website. If you do not have it, go to your web developer. It costs like $70 a year if you're hosting with GoDaddy or whoever you're hosting with. Because otherwise, when people go to your website, on the top bar it says not secure. What donor wants to donate on your website that says not secure and give their credit card? They're not going to. And in addition, Google and all the other search engines will not show you even in the organic ranking if you do not have a secure website. So please take care of that. It's just a housekeeping thing. And then uh, do you know what your target audience is searching for? Google has a keyword planning tool so that um, Mark just described, you know, homeless shelters near me. If you don't know what the keywords are you have to be bidding on, you can use a tool that Google has. For those of you who are managing your own ad grant but not getting much out of the ad spend or you're struggling with it, uh, once you understand who's searching and what they're searching for, make sure that your content on your website matches the keywords for those searches. In other words, Google says you cannot advertise for a yellow banana if you don't have the words yellow banana on the site. So anything that you want to advertise for, whether it's your programs or volunteer opportunities or fundraising events, you have to write about it on your website. Uh, compliance. Many people are dealing with the um, grant suspensions now, and you have to have a 5% click-through rate. What does that mean? That means that 5% of everyone who sees your ads must click through to your website. If you're not creating engaging ads, then Google will suspend your grant. And it really just comes down to content. The more content you can write, the better. And if you don't have content, you have not earned the right to ask someone to donate on your website. They have to know what you're doing, the impact that you're having, and what the needs are. So if you can't write about yourself, find someone who can. Um, On-site conversions, you have to, well, I said that, earn the right to ask. OK, I'm moving on. Is this how your nonprofit asks for donations? <laughs> 
I used to joke um, as a marketing and development director that I was given the equivalent of smoke signals and carrier pigeons and asked by the board to go out and raise millions of dollars and I had no budget to do it with. You have to spend money to make money. Yes, digital advertising. It's, there's no carrier pigeons that are going out to find people. Your donors, your volunteers, your corporate sponsors are searching on Google. If you want to get in front of them, that's where you need to be. Okay. Um, this, this client, the United Nations Foundation, came through our partnership with Nano. I had reached out to their vice president of marketing several times, probably four or five messages I had left for him. I could see in my industry report that they either didn't know what they were doing with their Google grant or they had a grant suspension. I wasn't sure which. And then through my partnership with Nano, they received an email from me. <laughs> And the Vice President of Marketing from the United Nations Foundation called and he said, oh, I wasn't sure if you were a real company or a real person, but I just got your nano email and let's set up a meeting and what's going on. So uh, he checked with his communications associate and she told him, well, we've used up our grant. There's no more $10,000. We used it all. So I politely emailed him back and said, that's actually not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10000 every month forever, so you can't actually just use it up. So we went in and took a look at their account. They had a grant suspension, an associate who was embarrassed to admit that she didn't really know what she was doing with the grant, and now um, I'll just quickly go. These were their original ads. They were even bidding on things like Lady Gaga, which is why they had a grant suspension. The before is the ad that someone on their team had created, an ineffective ad, no one's going to click on that. After, you know, we do the expanded text ads so people can actually go to the specific page on your site that they're looking for. And those ads appear based on your keyword search. I know several of you yesterday asked what do ads look like? This is what they look like. You'll see the little green box at the top of the page that says ad. So um, 764,000 impressions on the ads that we've created for the United Nations Foundation. 67,000 people have gone to the site. We have 206 newsletter signups. I can't tell you about donation conversions because they go off-site, which don't allow us to track, but uh, we send them a lot of traffic. <laughs> Uh, the San Diego Museum of Art was in a similar situation. They had a two-year grant suspension. We took over management of the grant. They've got um, 442 ticket sales in just a matter of months and um, uh, more ticket sales to their cocktails events. So any events that you're advertising for, if you have a 5K, for instance, you can target runners in your area who are looking for races. And even if they don't know about your organization, they can go right to the race page and sign up, and you'll increase your money that way. Okay, the Brain Donor Project came through Nano also. They received an, an email, and they're a Nano member. And they said, you know, we've tried the, the grant. We've had several suspensions. We're brain researchers. What's the deal here? <laughs> Why can't we do this? I said, sometimes you have to call in the experts in your own field, and you're not an expert in this field. So I, I shared with them what I want to share with you. Uh, well, first of all, in the first six days of working with us, they had more ad spend than they had had in the two years of receiving their grant. Um, Google is not completely philanthropic in offering this $120,000 a year in advertising. They are, by offering the nonprofits the opportunity to get into the ad space, they understand that typically you don't have discretionary funds to do this type of advertising. So it's a great benefit to you. The way this benefits Google is they're forcing the for-profit companies to have to spend more because now the space is more competitive. It's a little more crowded. Uh, think of the hospice. There's a for-profit hospice and there's a non-profit hospice. Well, guess what? Now the non-profit hospice can compete for customers, okay? Um, the lawyers, we work with a lot of legal aids across the country. Now that our legal aids are showing at the top of the page here, those for-profit lawyers have got to spend five, six, seven, eight dollars per click. May also surprise you to know that there are only 11 people on the Google Ad Grants team at Google to serve the 54,000 nonprofits who are receiving the grant. So that's why having a company like ours that partners with this team can help you just uh, bypass the queue and go right to the source, which is what we can do. And after 18 months of partnering 
Uh, with Google and with Nano, I can proudly say, you know, we have 500 nonprofit clients. Many of them are Nano members. It's allowed us to significantly scale our business to serve more Nano members. And in that 18 months, we have $11 million spent in Google advertising to promote the charities we work with. So uh, what I'd like to offer today is if anyone wants to see me during the break or afterwards, I'd like to offer you a free month of Google advertising with our service if you want to sign up here. And I look forward to talking with you.